Well, welcome to this week's episode of Table Talk. On this episode, we will have Roger and Debbie Shepard with Redbone Magic Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to do a little card trick That's for what us. I hear. I cannot wait. <gasps> so cannot excited. Wait. And of course, we'll wrap it all up with our five minutes of faith. All of this coming up on Table Talk. Welcome to Table Talk. We're so glad that you joined us today. But first of all, just want you to know, we're not trying to play a little magic trick on you. We do have on the same color shirt. <laughs> we do. We do. Well, magic is kind of our theme for today. Yes. Because we have Roger and Debbie Shepard from Redbone Magic Brewing Company. I cannot wait to interview no, them. I know. Have you been to Redbone before? I have. Me I just got to say, so Texarkana is really growing. Yes. And there are some wonderful new businesses, mm -hmm. um, new places to go see and new things to do. Do, and of yes. course the top of the line local restaurants right. I mean seriously so at Redbone mm -hmm. I mean what they have there is it's simple yeah. you know but the pizzas Amazing, so yes. And the atmosphere. Their, yes, and the atmosphere. It's it's a great place. It's a great it really place to is. take your family. It's a great place to have girls' night, date mm -hmm. night, all of the above. Absolutely. So. I'm taking my family there tonight. Mm -hmm. I am. I am. Oh, yeah. So sure. y'all stay tuned for The Shepherds. Be right back with us. Sleep well and rest assured when you purchase your next mattress from Four States Furniture and Mattress Gallery. In one convenient location, comfort test any brand you like. Tempur-Pedic, iComfort by Serta, Beauty Rest Black, Ashley Sleep, and Nectar. The best variety, the best prices, and special financing up to 60 months. Shop with us today at Four States Furniture and Mattress Gallery. Everything you could want in a furniture store and so much more. Welcome back to Table Talk. We are here with Roger and Debbie Shepard with Redbone Magic Brewing Company. And you guys are in for a treat because not only do we get to know them, later on he'll do a magic trick. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Wait. <laughs> so let's first find out about you two. You are Texture Canada natives. You have been here. You raised your families here. How did you meet? Well, we were uh, actually from Hooks, Texas. Okay. Okay. And. Uh, it was kind of on the playground in between the high school and the junior high. Mm -hmm. And she, well, was, school romance. she was out <laughs> with two other girls and uh, she stood out. And yeah. so uh, it was really a neat experience, uh, something that uh, you hear about. Yeah. And people say, well, how do you fall in love? Well, you don't. Uh, love falls with you. Oh, and so, <laughs> so when you Roger. feel. <laughs> Man. When you feel that feeling, it's uh, it's something that you can't dispute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I knew she was my lifelong partner the minute that I saw her. Yeah. So, that is so. Uh, she's been our Valentine's special. For real. Oh my goodness. And so, Debbie, how long y'all been married? We've been married 46 years. 47 oh. years. Oh, 47. 47. We've been two. together 51 years. Oh yes. wow. Yes. You have two beautiful daughters. Yes, we think so. Yes, and grandkids. grandkids. Also about that yeah. Well, our our daughters were uh, a blessing to us. Uh, they're very smart. They're very uh, outgoing. Mm -hmm. Very talented kids. Uh, we started them in athletics. Uh, I played football at Louisiana Tech. Uh, I was actually recruited to replace Terry Bradshaw. Oh. Wow. So, I was a quarterback in high school, and uh, <clears throat> I played a lot of. Uh, other sports also, but mm -hmm. sports was my game, and and it was a psychology that uh, that worked for me. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't your dazzled, good-looking guy. I was the hard-working athlete that mm -hmm. put a helmet on and went out and showed my stuff. And mm -hmm. so, the kids uh, were products of the athletic world, and mm -hmm. so they sat in the stands while we coached. I coached at Liberty Isle for three years, and then I coached at Hooks for three years. Debbie spent twenty. Three. Three years in the coaching. Wow. She coached at uh, Hooks, and then she went to Texas High as the volleyball coach. Mm -hmm. And so the sporting world was such a fabulous uh, motivational type entity that yeah. allowed you to look at yourself and to begin to discover who you were and how you were to improve yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. And hard work and dedication were two of the things that I picked up on, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and that works in business, that works That's in everything. Say, that carries yes. out throughout your whole life. And so mm -hmm. the sporting world gives you all the main things you need in life to succeed. Agreed. You don't have to do that, uh, but 
your chances of succeeding will become very difficult mm -hmm. if you don't have the principles and the moral values that it takes to to do the sporting world. Right. Mm -hmm. You have to stay healthy, you have to stay clean, you have to stay uh, as a team mem member. Mm -hmm. You gotta yeah. work as a team, you've got to think as a team member. Yep. You can't be I, I, I. And so you see people that are like that, they usually struggle and have a hard time. Mm -hmm. Right. And so yeah. I taught my kids from the athletic side of the thing and that's why they are thriving because of that. Right, so your girls and your grandchildren have followed in the footsteps too, they've caught that passion. Yes, mm -hmm. they have, they have. And I know one of the things I always taught my daughters is karma. Mm -hmm. I said, if you do something bad to someone, it's gonna come back on you five times a day. <laughs> so I be think careful how you treat people. That's be careful right. how you treat people. That's, That's right. So and you know, I, I call that the universal law. There's mm -hmm. a universal law that we live by and most people ignore it, but the universal law is true. If you're bad, you're going to end up bad. If you think bad, you're going to end up bad. Mm -hmm. If you've got mm -hmm. great thoughts, if you've got inspiring thoughts, then you will get better and better. The universal yeah. law is that away. It's kind of like you reap what you sow. Exactly. You know? yeah, yeah, what yeah. you yeah. sow is what's going to come. And obviously it worked for you because not only in your family, <laughs> but right. in your businesses. Let's talk about sports magic. Yes. Everyone I know is familiar everybody with sports knows. magic. Sports magic. <laughs> and I know everybody's out there going, oh, that's <laughs> who <shepherd>. they are. <laughs> yeah, so Debbie, tell us about that. Well, Roger started that when I was coaching it. And, okay. And they started that in 87? 1987. 1987. Yeah. And that was another one of those projects I thought, oh, well, he was a pharmaceutical rep before he okay. did that. Okay. Okay. So he quit his pharmaceutical to go into this. I'm like, oh, you know, but yeah. Yeah. we went from our bedroom. But to garage, say, where did it our start? Our bedroom in our garage. Uh -huh. That was our office and our, and our facility. Funny. Yeah. And, uh, he ended up moving to Wake Village and then from there on to the 4,000 square foot mm -hmm. building we have now. So mm -hmm. How big is it? I I don't know. It's more like 11,000 square feet. I'm not good at square feet. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But to see how that one has yeah. grown. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, Sports Magic was a, uh, what I saw was a need. The community was, was after identity. And what happened is the pros and the uh, colleges both had super identity. Mm -hmm. Wonderful t-shirts mm -hmm. and jackets and all kinds of Mm -hmm. display items that showed who they were and of course you know how competitive that is and oh, so yeah. <laughs> what I did was I wrote a business plan based on why the high school market didn't have the same thing as the pros or the colleges and so mm -hmm. I began to develop uh, drawings and and t-shirts designs that was showing the identity of the high schools and that became a hot item I moved it from a one color print on a t-shirt to a four color print wow. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and moved it from a small area on your chest to the whole shirt showing yeah. the mascots and things like that. And so in a matter of three years, I had went from a, a very small operation to a pretty big operation. Oh, yeah. We were running uh, two automatic presses that runs 800 shirts an hour. So wow. Wow. We, were, <laughs> we were dealing awesome. with about 56 high schools. Yeah. in the four states area and they all were begging for what I was putting out there. Yeah. And so that became the the underbase of the business mm -hmm. and it grew to be uh, 13, we had 13 employees and we're doing a little over, nearly $2 million in gross sales a year. So Incredible. That it, is. Uh, wow. it just came from hard work and I called it show and tell because you show up and you tell them what you have uh -huh. and you show them what you have and they say, oh, I want that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, being the timing in, in business is very important. Yeah. You got to look and see what's out there, see what mm -hmm. your competition is, mm -hmm. and then you have to, to scrape and work and try to get that done. The hardest thing was dealing with banks, trying mm -hmm. to get them to trust in you and mm -hmm. loan you money to where mm -hmm. you can get equipment. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I developed uh, a very good friend. Uh, his name was Mr. Rochelle from mm -hmm. one of the banks and he believed in, in me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that became a uh, sort of a thing that, that allowed me to, to move ahead because right. yeah. when you're believed uh, with someone else can believe in you, that makes right. a lot of difference. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Until I realized that my biggest belief comes from me. Mm -hmm. Then I begin to believe in myself, and yeah. that's where it all began to grow.
because we had sports magic, and then you moved into Redbone. Oh magic. yeah. So tell us, <laughs> Debbie, did he have to really, yeah, you know, really, did. really to pull you and into there's this There's a one? story of why I went over to his side. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Tell us that. Yeah, we want to know. Let him tell you that. <laughs> yeah. The. Uh, I couldn't get her on board, and I kept saying, man, this is going to be great. You know, people are dying for entertainment in Texarkana. I called it starving. They are yeah, starving yeah. for entertainment. And so, you know, we wanted to bring something in. Uh, again, we're not money grubbers. We don't uh, – making money is, is something necess mm -hmm. necessary. Necessary. Yeah. Right. But uh, it's not the underlying cause. Yeah, we no. do it because we love it. But mm -hmm. I couldn't get Debbie on board, and so uh, – <laughs> I got to thinking, her dad, his nickname is Redbone Lindsay. Oh. And, and so I thought, okay, oh, this is a great opportunity. I said, <laughs> this is really going to get her. I, I said, let's name this place Redbone Magic. Uh, and you were like, and I was all in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <clears throat> and tell us about your slogan. Well, our slogan is... Uh, Make t making Texture kind of fun again. Yeah. And the reason for that is we are trying to build something to get the downtown area going mm -hmm. and get something started on Texas Boulevard, the pathway into our downtown area. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to get kids to stay in Texarkana. Right. right now they go to college in Fayetteville and they never come home. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to do here. Right. Mm -hmm. Now people hear me say that all the time and they look at me kind of funny, but, but folks, there's nothing to do here. <laughs> right. yes. And when we get Sparse. places like this, if we would loosen up a little bit, if we would start allowing people to have a good time. Now you right. don't want to be dangerous and you don't yeah. want to be yeah crazy but right. it's got to be under control and that's what I do I take care of my place mm -hmm. it's a restaurant first mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we're a brewery second because mm -hmm. I'm a science guy so I like brewing beer mm -hmm. and so we do our own brewing and we like people to come in and feel safe it's a non-smoking area mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we don't want that we don't allow loud profanity and stuff mm -hmm. like that, I police the place very tightly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to come in there and act crazy, I will throw you out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's family it. friendly. It I got to say that. It's family friendly. People friendly. post pictures all the time of yes. their kids and their families all together there. And exactly. it just, mm -hmm. you have created something truly special for Texarkana. Yeah. Yes. And that's, that's very important to me that you feel safe and you feel under control. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I think we get the business that we get because people right. trust mm -hmm. what we've got and they trust that they can come in there and be taken care of. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And as long as I'm there, they will be taken care of. Right. Oh, yes. And I, I just love every aspect of it, like the um, oven pizzas or the, what is it called, the stone oven? Yeah, it's the... We're it's not trying the, to say. The brick oven. The brick oven, oven. thank you. Yeah. Wouldn't yeah. come to me. Yeah. We don't work there, obviously. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but, I mean, that draws you, like, I... Because, to me, that is the best pizza when thank it's you. cooked that way. Absolutely. And it, it and your everything about it is so good. And then I've been in there before, and y'all have you have a story about every table, every light fixture. <laughs> I love that. Like, it's not just walk in and somebody just threw it together. Like, y'all have put thought into every little thing that you've done there, and I, I just love that. Well, thank you. I, I, I appreciate you noticing that. Yes, That's, yes. I, uh, I, I'm a woodworker, and so I've got a pretty good shop at my house, and so I built all the light fixtures. I built all the tables. I built everything in there. Uh, oh, the Henrys with Henry Siding, uh, mm -hmm. we leased from them. That's their building, and they put together the actual building itself, so mm -hmm. uh, the work that they did was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. and, uh, did a great job. They did a yeah. great job, and and they're a they're a great family of uh, workers too. Mm -hmm. They they take yeah. a lot of pride in their business, and so we like those guys a lot, and uh, we're we're a good partnership there. Yeah. Well, one thing that I know that you do is extremely well is to bring in great entertainment. Yes. And you were telling us about a band <laughs> coming. Would you like to tell us, Debbie? Tell everyone. Well, teaser teaser will be there April the third. Yes. Uh, if you've not seen them, you've missed really a great band. They're pop rock, is that right? 80s. Yeah, 80s. And, um, oh, yeah. 80s just, hair band, we like yeah, that. Yeah, 80s hair <laughs> band. They just, they, they're just they just fabulous. We've had them there a couple of times. They're out of Tyler, mm -hmm. and they always bring a great crowd. And we do reservations, so you can call and get reservations, mm -hmm. and there will be a cover charge. Yeah. <laughs> That'll fine, be fun. Fine, yeah. fine. And y'all have karaoke nights? and. 
karaoke on Thursday nights. Uh -huh. We have trivia on uh, Wednesday nights. Oh, that's and good so to know. so we try to have something yeah. neat to do. I tried to put bingo in on Tuesday night. And <laughs> Got in trouble. If, uh -oh. <laughs> if you want to try to do something hard, try to get a bingo. Going. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. State of Texas will not. Oh, oh. really? Wow. 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 You know, take the, over their bingo. Okay. That's right. The alcohol laws in Texas are some of the most stringent out there. Yeah. They're changing. Uh, the legislature has met and has made a lot of changes mm -hmm. for good, but it's, it's a tough industry. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of money laundering and stuff that goes on in this industry, so mm -hmm. they're constantly trying to keep it under Very control. Under control, yeah. 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 And so uh, they, they work with us real well because they know we take care of our business. Right. So they're not worried about it. Yeah. And uh, you get people that'll get into this type of business that they have to worry about because yeah. they're doing things under the table and things right. like that. Yeah. We, uh, we're just straight up try to be as honest as, <laughs> as we can be. You right, know? yeah, yeah, absolutely. We don't want them taking advantage of us, but at yeah. the same time, we don't take advantage of them. Right. So yeah, it's a good partnership. Well, Debbie, do you see him talking you into any other business adventures in the coming years? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is the retirement this plan. Is our retirement. There you go. We yeah. don't open till five on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so I can go play golf. Hey, there I'm you going go. to play golf, That's so awesome. I have to play golf and then go to work at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. That's great. Now, Debbie yeah. is. A De Debbie's a great golfer. Uh, she tried to pull me into the game, and it just didn't work. <laughs> Not quite. A little too slow for you? Well, no magic and balls? You know, people that think that... Uh, because I'm good at magic, I'd be good at everything, and right. that's not true. Well, <laughs> speaking of magic, yes, I, I cannot say. wait for the trick. So you guys, hang on to your seats. We'll be back in just a moment. Roger has a special magic trick just for you. The foundation of any great living room is your sofa. Visit the Bassett Design Studio here at Four States Furniture in Texarkana and design your space any way you like. With nearly unlimited shapes and sizes, plus over 800 colors and patterns to choose from, creating your perfect living room has never been easier. Shop with us today at Four States Furniture. Everything you could ever want in a furniture store and so much more. Welcome back to Table Talk. You are in for a treat. Mr. Roger Shepard here is going to perform a magic trick for us. Mm -hmm. Just be prepared. Your mind is about to be blown. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, first of all, I okay. want to say that I believe in magic. <clears throat> and when you believe in magic, you can do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's all about creating something that people think you are. Mm -hmm. And so... Mm -hmm. I'm a magic guy, okay? Oh, yeah. So here's what I want you to do. You take this card, okay. examine it first, look at it, look it over. Oh, got your you signature can, on it. Yeah, it's got a magic R on it. Mm -hmm. Magic R. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come to life. <laughs> I'm going to fold my card. Oh, whoa. oh that's all right. It hops. <laughs> it's a rabbit. <laughs> it is a jumping card. Mm -hmm. What do you want and me to do? And fold it halfway like, like that. And I'm folding it the long way. Okay. So what it does is it puts the cards in a really neat position because I'm going to take your card and I, all I'm going to do is drop it inside and open it up. Okay. And what it does is it shows the face of the card showing out with my magic R there. It's perfect. And I'll use your finger this time because, hold your finger out because I've got the cards showing both and, yeah, put it just like that and I'll tap this on your finger and you see what happens to the card. <laughs> Let me know your magic. Through. I now, believe, Roger. Now, <laughs> you want to be careful with this finger now from now on, oh, okay? Oh, for real. <laughs> <'Cause it's magic. laughs> That's right. So I'm going to do it on mine. I'm going to get a little of that magic on mine. When you turn it over, it just erases it when it goes the other way. Y'all, this so, is real. Like, I mean, for like, real. I am, I am watching this to make sure he's not pulling a trick here. Now, yeah, you can even open it up. You can see that the card has completely reversed itself. And as I close it back and go back the other way, it completely reverses itself the other way. And I'm holding tight here so it's not flipping as it goes. No, this is incredible. So now I can even take the card. It's really neat. I can pull it out, and you can see it completely what reversed. What in the world? And so you put it back in, and it goes back in. And then I, to finish the trick, I just tear it in half right here. And... You have. Look at that. The cards completely 
Look at that. Oh, my magic so finger. With that magic <laughs> finger. Who knew? Now I got some suggestions oh for that magic finger. Uh -oh. right <laughs> I'm gonna leave that to your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Man. my goodness, that is incredible. I mean, really, so like, simple, I but yeah. I was waiting for when I could, you know, catch Yeah, Oh, there it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm, me too, but nope. But so, the, thing I love that, it. the thing that magic has done for me is it's created a personality. I was yeah. an introvert when I was young, and I spent a lot of time alone. And it was because I wanted to talk to me. Mm -hmm. And so magic has created something that I can get out of the shell with. Yeah. And so that's what I advise people all the time is find something that you can get out of the shell with and get out into the public mm -hmm. and let people know who you are. Yeah. And that becomes valuable. You're trying to build value in yourself based on how people perceive you and perception is 100%. Right. If they think you are, then you are. Yeah. And that's all you have to do is create that process. Well, you are magic. Wow. And it's hard to believe that he was introverted. I know. Yeah, at one point, Debbie. I don't know about all this. I know. Well, thank you both so much for being on the show. It was such a pleasure to get to know you. Thank you. You're very welcome. At Redbone, I hope everyone goes and visits yes. him on Texas Boulevard. You will not be disappointed. You will not. Obviously. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. Yes. Thank, You're you. Welcome. thank you. And we'll be back. Yes, we'll be back right after this. Sleep well and rest assured when you purchase your next mattress from Four States Furniture and Mattress Gallery. In one convenient location, comfort test any brand you like. Tempur-Pedic, iComfort by Serta, Beautyrest Black, Ashley Sleep, and Nectar. The best variety, the best prices, and special financing up to 60 months. Shop with us today at Four States Furniture and Mattress Gallery. Everything you could want in a furniture store and so much more. Yes. Are you not still in shock? Like, I'm just in shock. I mean, Lily, like, I was, y'all, I was watching close, I okay? Was, I was sitting right beside him. You, I, I was watching. I was like, maybe he's going to pull up another car for his sleep. No, he had short sleeves on. Yeah. Okay, I was watching that. I was, too. I was, I was waiting watching for your I mean, something to, like, he had a pocket maybe on his palm and, know. you know, like something. But nothing. Or, nothing. you know, hiding something in here. And, mm, <sighs> no, y'all, that, that was the real deal. So, here's the thing about that. Yeah. So, magic for Roger, okay, he he knows. Yeah. He's got it all up here. Yeah. And so, like, he talked about perception. Uh-huh. And, like, so we're watching intently. Yeah. Still don't, we miss it. Like, we still <laughs> miss it. It's literally, that's what makes magic magic. Yeah. Because you, it's hard to wrap your mind around. It's hard to believe. It's yeah. hard to, like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait. What just happened? Yeah. Like, they literally just pulled one over on me kind of thing, you know? But he and had so a plan. He did. He had a plan. He had a plan. So that's where we're going to tie in our five minutes of faith. Because mm -hmm. with Easter coming up, the whole story of Jesus, mm -hmm. okay, being born, first of all, as a baby, mm -hmm. you know, on this earth, growing into a man, dying on the cross, mm -hmm. coming back to life. The tomb being empty. Greatest magic trick ever. Yeah. We got to ask the Lord about that one day. Yeah, we're going to be you, like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. And you know, a lot of people that. would perceive that as it was right. a true magic trick. That he right. didn't really die. Yeah. That when they put him in the tomb, he they really didn't. Someone or they switched him. a body or, you something, know, yeah. something. Yeah. Or when they went to, you know, and he the tomb was empty, they, you know, they the soldiers or somebody had thought that he was robbed. Right. That somebody had stole the body, yep. you know. Yeah. But no, it wasn't. It was God all real. God had a plan. God had a plan, 100%. And so it's all about your perception. Like, what do you see? So when you think of it that way, then maybe it is just magic to you. And it's but trusting when in, you think of it as, yeah. you know, it's God's plan and that was real and it really that was happened. Real. And that you can trust that plan. And yes. I told Roger off camera, I told Roger, I said, listen, you will be so disappointed in me <laughs> because my five year old with his little lisp, you know, missing the two front teeth, asked me this week, is magic real? <laughs> is magic, is magic real? real? You know? And then I told him, oh, no, buddy, not real. Because I don't want them to confuse magic and this and that with believing yes, in Jesus and yes. what he did. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it like you're talking about, yeah. Roger was the master plan. God had a master plan with Jesus coming to this earth, oh, yeah. with coming back to life again, the tomb being empty. And in light of Easter, 
you know, we can think about the fact that that didn't just affect them 2,000 years ago. It oh, still yeah. affects us still today. today. Yes. And so we can trust, like you said, trust that, you know, that really happened, mm-hmm. you know, even though it was so long ago. Yeah. That really happened. And it happened for us. Right. You know, and it wasn't just a magic trick that happened to us, you know, yeah. in front of our eyes. It really happened. It was for us. He died on the cross for us, for mm-hmm. our sin. He was uh, buried and he rose again. Mm-hmm for us so that we can have life and have life abundantly. And so I love how the shepherds, they live life to the full. I mean, like I loved how he told her she wanted to retire and he said, retire for to what? For what? You know, like he's like, no, let's keep going. And you know, and so like, that's the kind, I mean, Jesus gave us life so we can have abundant life here on the earth and use our gifts and our talents Mm -hmm. to, you know, entertain people or however that looks, you know, but to impact people, but ultimately to lead them to, to Christ and to God and to turn, you know, for them to become believers in God and to have a relationship with him. Because that's that's what's lasting. That is what will change people's life. It's eternal. Yeah. That's what will change people's lives forever. Jesus Mm -hmm. came and died and it affect our past. It affect, it affects our present now. Mm -hmm. The fact that he, when we believe in him, we are given the Holy Spirit. We're given everything we could need for this life because of him living in us and it affects our future. The fact that we'll be with him forever. You know, he, he, and what he did for us was past, present, and future. So that's our encouragement to you guys to thinking of this Easter season. It's not just what Jesus did 2,000 years ago. It wasn't a magic trick. (laughs) It wasn't a magic trick. No matter what. He had a plan and a purpose for you. He died for you. He is alive in you today, and he will be with you forever. That is our Easter message to you to encourage you today. Now, I think we're going to be taking a break. Yes. Yes. So, when we come back from that break, be ready for big news, big things. Big things. 2021 is a good year. Yeah, it's it's the best year ever. So, but we thank you for tuning in today and watching us. We hope that you enjoyed The Shepherds. And go visit Redbone. Get you some pizza and have a good time. And we'll see you next time. That's right. Happy Easter. On Table Talk. is the outlet at Florida States Furniture in Texarkana. Over 12,000 square feet filled with name brand furniture and mattresses priced at up to 60% off every day. Pay hundreds, even thousands less on a huge selection of quality furniture like Ashley, Bassett, Craftmaster, Beautyrest, Serta, and many, many more. All drastically reduced and ready to go. Shop with us today at Four States Furniture and Outlet. Everything you could ever want in a furniture store and so much more. Sleep well and rest assured when you purchase your next mattress from Four States Furniture and Mattress Gallery. In one convenient location, comfort test any brand you like. Tempur-Pedic, iComfort by Serta, Beauty Rest Black, Ashley Sleep, and Nectar. The best variety, the best prices, and special financing up to 60 months. Shop with us today at Four States Furniture and Mattress Gallery. Everything you could want in a furniture store and so much more.